in the yellow ribbon prison run. Offering 2 categories, 6 p.m. and 10 p.m. The yellow ribbon prison run is a very meaningful event that I have been taking part in every year since 2012. Okay, are you ready? Okay. Okay. Everybody, yeah. Everybody, stand by. Ready? Everybody. Ready? One. of the Yellow Ribbon Prison Run is supporting second chances whereby you give ex-convicts a second chance to turn over a new lead and make positive changes in their life. This is a very meaningful course that I am happy and honoured to support every year. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Christu.com. I took part in the 10 km category at the Yellow Ribbon Prison Run. The event started at Changi Village area and we ran along Changi area and finished within Six, the prison ground. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so next one. Again, stretch your shoulders around, put, place your hands on your hips. Okay, with your fingers pointing back. Okay, like a little chicken. Okay, and then from there, grab someone beside you. Okay, grab all their elbows and pull it together. Okay, squeeze. Hold it there for last hand. The info is ready to launch, but let's see if our runners are ready to launch. Runners, if you're ready to launch as well, make some noise! Yeah! Okay. Yeah. We are all set. Shall we do a countdown together, Jeremy? All right, ladies and gentlemen, Let's stand by and we're going to count up together from three, two, one. Here we go. It is a very unique race route. Basically, it is quite hilly, so you should expect a pretty challenging course and make sure you train a lot of hills. Um, basically, if you are taking part in the Boston Marathon, this is a good prequel of what you can probably expect in Boston. The route is a very historic route, taking participants past historic landmarks around the Changi area such as the Johor Battery, the Old Changi Chapel Museum and the Changi Prison Wall. The last two kilometers of the race take you inside the Changi Prison Complex itself. Even though this park comprises of up and down slopes, I always enjoy this area and I tell people it is the only opportunity that you will get to run inside the Changi Prison itself and get out again.
finish the 10 km in an official time of 49 minutes 50 seconds, which is under 50 minutes, so I'll still take it. Actually, my legs were still pretty tired from the Sydney Marathon last weekend, and I could still feel it, so I guess it is not a bad effort for me, even though it may not be a lazy day. The Yellow Ribbon Prison Run is the post-race carnival. The post-race carnival is always very interesting, not only because of the Milo band and the free Ben and Jerry, but because it is very educational. They really educate you on what the ex-convicts and former prisoners go through from the time they are incarcerated to the time that they are released from prison and the stigmas that they face upon their release. And the way that they educate you is through encouraging you to play games to give you an actual taste of what the ex-convicts may be going through. So I find this very meaningful and educational and it's a much better way of educating you rather than just disseminating information. I tried three games, a shooting game, a tie the strings game and a fishing game. While I am generally not best at games, they were all fun and made me laugh. For completing the game stations, three games in all was Ben and Jerry. The Milo van is very nostalgic to me because it used to be a mainstay during my school sports days since primary school. So every time I see the Milo van at an event in running, I always make a beeline straight for it. Today was no exception. So once again, it was a very fantastic well-organized race. Last year, I remember the Yellow Ribbon Prison Run had a downpour at the start of the race. This year, the start was clear, but then after we started, there was a downpour that stopped quite soon after. But then when I was finishing the race, soon after that, the downpour became a lot heavier. So I guess I wasn't really able to enjoy the post-race carnival as much as I probably would have on a sunny day if it had not rained. But overall, it was a fantastic job by the Yellow Ribbon Prison Run team and it was yet another very well-organized race with a 10km route being spot on at 10.03km according to my garment. I also love the finisher medal and the revolving yellow ribbon which I find very interesting.
finishing the run, we queued up to take the shuttle buses back from Changi Prison to the Expo where we could catch a bus or an MRT back home. It is tradition of the Yellow Ribbon Prison Run to provide the shuttle buses in order to make it easier for runners to get back home afterwards. But the queue for the shuttle buses can be pretty long. for watching. Once again, this has been Chris Chu from ChrisChu.com. If you enjoyed what you saw, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to ChrisChu. Until then, I will catch up with you in the next video. Bye-bye.